January 2019, and I have a new pair of Merrill boots. They're called Moab 2s. I want to review those for you, but I haven't had them long enough to do an initial review. So I'm wearing them in the woods and around town and to work and out on dates and all kinds of stuff. Dating my wife, of course. But uh, doing what I can to get a, a good initial assessment of those boots. So in the meantime, I wanted to go back to January of 2016 where I reviewed these Merrill Chameleon boots. I wanted to talk about these just a few minutes. Now, they don't sell the same boot. It is still a Chameleon, but uh, I'm pretty sure that the design and all this stuff has changed and probably been updated. But since I reviewed these for you, I wanted to go back and just... Uh, show you how they've come along and how they've held up in the time since the first review and there's not really much to show and I won't spend a lot of time on it but the boots still have good traction the rubber hasn't let loose in the first couple of weeks that I had it I got a small nick in this rubber right here wait for it to focus that was very small that was very small to begin with and over the two and a half years, it's kind of widened out a little bit, but it hadn't come loose. Everything else is still in good shape. Everything's attached. Nothing's come loose from it. The soles haven't come unglued. None of the pieces of the soles here have come loose. I do have a pair of uh, Merrill, like a sports shoe where they didn't have the Vibram heels and a couple of these knobs came off, but these have held up pretty good. Same on this side. Started out with a small nick. I don't know why those things wear out right there, but got a little wear right there on the heel. I, I suppose that I might have kick that toe or kick the toe as you walk and stumble through the woods and different things like that. I don't know why that wears like that, but the rubber piece doesn't come off the sole, so that's pretty good. So these shoes are still in good shape, and I suppose that their quality hasn't dropped uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, I'm going to test these new ones out and see for sure, but if um, you're looking for a pair of hiking boots, I recommend Merrell's. I don't, I'm not supported by anybody, let alone Merrill. Uh, they don't even know I'm alive, but uh, I wear their boots and have for several years now. And these uh, hiking boots have really uh, been good for my feet. My feet are, are damaged really from my time in the Marine Corps. I injured a foot while I was in the Marine Corps and, and all the regular shoes that I have uh, sneakers or whatever the case might be once the soles get broke in my feet usually go to aching pretty bad and these for two and a half years now have had good support I don't have any insoles in them except for what come in the shoe and they support my feet well uh, these new ones that I'm wearing now are probably the most comfortable boot I've ever wore right out of the box they were good to go and so far I've been wearing them for a little over a month now. I'm not quite ready to do the review on the Moab 2 yet, but so far so good. Uh, they're very comfortable and so I still recommend the Merrells to you. A little bit pricey, I, I will uh, guarantee you that. As far as I'm concerned, these Merrells have solved a big problem for me uh, in regards to comfort and supporting damaged feet and so I spent some money on some insoles trying to make uh, lesser boots work. And just, uh, you know, they say the happy feet and different stuff like that. Great $50 insoles, but nothing seemed to work. You just need a good shoe, I think. Find the right shoe for your foot. Now, that's just my opinion. So after two and a half years, these shoes have done a really good job, I guess. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I would give these a 10. I don't have anything to complain about. They haven't let me down, so 
what uh, what reason would I have to take off any points for it? Uh, they're a good boot, and I'll continue to wear them. I don't know how long they'll last. I probably won't review them anymore, but um, so far so good. Uh, we'll go on to the next and review those.